Hi, there are two ways to install mods for Doom Eternal. The first is using the Doom Eternal mod injector. This one's good for legacy mods, multiplayer mods, or any mods that haven't been ported to the second option, the Doom Eternal mod portal. This is the official mod installer that lets you play fancy new mods like this Mario map I'm playing here. So, let's begin. To install the mod injector, there are two things you need to get. The Eternal Mod Injector and the Meat Hook DLL file. The Eternal Mod Injector can be found in the Game Banana link in the description. Scroll down, click on Manual Download, then click on Download. The Meat Hook DLL file can also be found in the description, using the GitHub link. Scroll down, click on X Input. If it tells you unverified downloads, click Download anyways. The next thing you're going to want to do is extract the Mod Injector zip file. Now you need to locate your Doom Eternal installation folder. Now you just need to put everything that you've downloaded into the right spots in the installation folder. Meat hook's easy, just throw it in there. The mod injector stuff, same thing. Whatever's in the base folder needs to go into base. For the record, this is how you update the mod injector if you ever need to update the thing. Make sure to also create a disabled mods and a mods folder within the installation folder. Once you've done that, it's highly recommended that you verify your files before going any further. Now that all of that is set up, you can now use the mod injector. Mods for it are found under nexusmods.com or do modding discords, which I'll have links for in the description. Once you have all your mods, you can throw them in either mods or disabled mods folder, and then use the eternal mod manager executable. Checkmark mods go into mods, and then non checkmark mods go into disabled mods. This executable organizes them for you. Once you have everything set as you want, hit the Run Mod Injector button. You can also just move your mods manually using File Explorer between disabled mods and mods. Then use the Eternal Mod Injector.bat. Both methods will inject the mods and open the game for you. As you can see, I got my custom skin and a whole bunch of other mods that I've injected. Setting up the Doom mod portal is a lot easier. First thing you want to do, click the gear, properties, betas, under beta participation, click the drop down, PC mod preview, click on it, then Doom Eternal is going to download some shit. Now just launch the game. When you do so, a new Doom Eternal launcher will appear. You can click play Doom Eternal if you want to play vanilla, or just Doom Eternal with your mod injector mods. There are some settings you may or may not want to tweak, mostly just for file organization. Once you're ready, just click on the mods tab, then log in with your Bethesda account. Now you can see all the mods on the mod portal. When you find one that you want, just click on it, click on download. Once it's finished downloading, you can now find it under your library. This is where you can manage all of your mods, look through your files, and delete them if you need to. When you're ready to play with them, just click on play mods, and drag it to the right where it says active mods if you want to play with them. Move it to the left if you're done using them, then click play Doom Eternal with mods. Note that whatever mods you have injected with the mod injector will also carry over to Doom Eternal Sandbox, the mod portal version of Doom Eternal. As you can see, I am in the Bob on Battlefield custom level with the Doom 2016 Super Shotgun I just installed. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful, and feel free to comment any questions or concerns. I'll try to answer them all as I go. Anyways, see ya.